Today we are installing a drawer system from Rugged Bound in the back of my, not that one, not the 60, not the 80, but the 200 series. So I've already removed both seats, super easy, but if you need a video, I'll put it in the description below. I did a quick couple minute video on how to remove those seats. So the drawer system made in South Africa, it's rugged bound. If you need their contact, um, I'll put a link and uh, definitely give me a call. I'll put you in touch with the owner here in Texas. But it's coming out of this, well, I transported my drawers in my 80 series. So they do make them for 80 series as well. Um, I have one I'll show by the end of this video in the 80 series, the drawer. Um, made for the 80. The 200 is made for the 200 series. You see, this is not just a drawer system for any vehicle. This is for the Land Cruiser 200 or LX 570 because they maximize the space. Other companies make a small, medium, large and a fit kit. Uh-uh, not here. This is made for a 200 and they make one for a 100 and an 80 and so on. FJ Cruiser, that, that way you're maximizing your space. I'm gonna to try to do this as a solo job. This should be a two person job. So I'm gonna take this, put on my furniture mover and bring it up to the 200, which I'll move forward a bit. So let's get started. All right, so far so good. I rolled it up to here. And I remember when I installed in my 80 series a, uh, a rugged bound. And just to show you, made in South Africa. That's better than China, of course. It's better than the US. It's better than Australia. In, in South Africa, they know their shit and they get it done right. South Africa, it's called big country. Here in the US, it is rugged bound. So again, if you want to get one of these, you can see it's big, it's heavy. It gets shipped on a pallet. So if you're in Southern Cal, well, I have some in stock. I work with these guys now. I love their products so much. I was a customer first, and now I'm like, you guys need help getting more exposure because this is the best drawer system and roof racks, by the way. Look at that roof racks. This also is completely welded, just phenomenal, best in its class. You can put three people that are 200 pounds. I have a video on installing this as well. Again, big country, but AKA rugged bound here in the US. And you see how they go this way and dovetailed and you've got extra cross beams here, 600 pounds. Three guys can stand on this. It won't even flex or bow. It is just phenomenal. And it's 75 pounds. So you'd have to put like a 200 pound. And I, I had a, a an ARB uh, up on a truck before and I took it off. It took three of us to take it off. It took just one of me to put that on. I'd recommend two people just to make it easier for leverage and all, but uh, yeah, phenomenal. But back to our drawer. So because I'm solo, and again, I recommend to be two to do this, I wanna see which side is up and which is the back because I'll protect it with my furniture cover down on the ground. I'm gonna put it here lean it against the side, leverage it up, push it in myself. I did that before, I will do it again. But yeah, there it is in the box. Yeah, and if you're in SoCal, you know, we get like, uh, I'm working with a shop, a Land Cruiser shop down in Southern California. So if you wanna have this installed as well, you can get it installed. But anyways, inventory gets shipped down so that you don't have to pay freight. Cause when we order like basically 10 of these and well, a combination of that and roof racks, shipping is free to a uh, commercial address. Getting it to residential, there is a charge. So save money, save money on that uh, 100% and uh, even get help installing or watch this video. So I'm gonna uh, unbox a couple of the sides, figure out top, bottom, back, and then leverage this into the rig. Okay, these guys do serious pack packaging. First of all, you got thick corrugated box around all corners. Then once you get that off, like I have, I've peeled it off like a banana. Now you gotta cut through all this and all the extra wrapping. So make sure you've got your everyday carry on you. 
Me, it's Gerber gear. Look at this, it sounds like an ad. <laughs> My Gerber gear, I love this blade. It is so sharp. Just slice through this like it's nothing. Um, yeah, I'll put a link. You can save 15% with these guys. So I'll have a link. So forget about Black Friday. They got knives that never come on sale. Like their fastball. Fastball is my favorite. This is my second favorite. But um, awesome to have an everyday carry knife. Go save yourself 15% uh, courtesy of Cruising the Land. I've Again, customer with them. I said, you guys make the best knives. I, I like to refer stuff to my uh, my following, my subscribers, and uh, they said, sure, here, 15% off for all your Land Cruiser folk. So there we go. I'll, I'll uh, put that in the link below. But anyways, I'm going to use my everyday carry, cut this open, and figure out top, bottom, and back, and get this thing in. Okay, and as luck would have it, that's the bottom. This is the back. Well, back of the truck if you want. That's the, the back facing that I want. That's the cab facing. And as I can tell, because it's all black in there. And then this is the top because it's got that amazing covering. So styrofoam, bubble wrap. I mean, these guys go overboard, but I love it. That means your drawer is going to become arrive to you completely unharmed perfect condition to go in your perfect land cruiser all right so i'm going to lay this on its side leverage lift it up and push it in let's do it Okay, the drawers are in, already looking good. Just gotta get our side panels in and get it bolted down. So here's the parts you're gonna get. You're gonna get four of these L brackets. This is actually to go on the side. So let's zoom in here. These two pre-existing here and here, closest to the back. That is pre-existing hardware, so you gotta unscrew it and then re-screw this in, right? So that's gonna hold your panel. My panels are right there, awaiting in the toasty Southern California sun to be put in. And then there's two more. Let me see if I can get the camera back there. Let me zoom in. And yeah. And you can have the drawer pulled out a bit. Um, so right there, there's right there and down there. Unscrew those. I'm going to have to climb in the back and put the other L. So do all four of them. Pre-existing hardware in there easy right but don't put your panel on yet because you have still more things to put on we'll do this last this is going to cover here so next up let's move to this piece this piece is let's get the right one you want to have it so that it's coming towards you because they're the mirror image of each other so this one let's get back there you're using those two holes here and here, and then it's gonna bolt down to the pre-existing hole that you had your um, rear seat connected to, if you watched my video. So it's gonna be like so, right? So attach there, and then it's gonna bolt down to the bottom. Now, when you do that, they supplied you with these bolts here, right? Um, which is going to require a 17 millimeter. That's why I've got two. This is all you're going to need right here. 17 and a 14 because you can elect instead of using that and you can put this in your hardware junk drawer. You can use the bolts that you took out for your rear seats. If someone already took out your rear seats or if you got a heritage edition that did not have rear seats, then yes, then you got to use these. So up to you which ones you want to use. So then you bolt in those parts and you're going to use, since there is no hardware on the side, you're going to use these two and two for each side, which now brought me to a dilemma. I should have had eight of these. I'll show you why. Um, because this is going to use the pre-existing hardware that's already there. So um, you just need a, T, a T20. I believe it's a T20. I just pulled it out of my good old Milwaukee kit to fit on front here. And on the back, what do I have? Let's zoom in. Get my glasses on. 
Uh, it's 10 millimeter. So you just need a 10 millimeter. There we go. Voila. So a 10 and I believe this is a T20 for that. So those, those would be super easy to put in. So this piece, so you got, you'll notice an angle on this bracket. So let me show you why. It's gonna go like so. It's gonna be like that. And that's gonna go over to this other secure point. So you see they're using existing bolt holes. So we had the rear seat mounted there. So it's gonna be like this, right? And then you're gonna have to bolt this piece in and that attaches, so you're putting those two L brackets together, right? Which is gonna form essentially this, right? So bolt those on and here's where my dilemma is. No hardware, right? And you can use um, the bolt they supplied you or you could reuse the ones you just finished taking out if you remove your seats. Now remember, we used these four already. So what am I using to put these in? So what I'm gonna do, I believe they left this nut and this nylock to put these together. Like so, to go right there, right? That's what that's for, to go right there to attach these. I'm gonna repurpose these since they're the same size as that. I'm gonna repurpose them, but I needed four. So at least I'm gonna do two and I'll have to go to the hardware store or check my hardware junk drawer. And uh, I had some uh, number 20s. So I'm gonna use these, they're a little shorter, but a little thicker and a bigger nylon, nylock. I'm gonna use that to connect these two pieces together, right? But since this is coming from Australia, it's metric, so you need to go get these bolts. Uh, when I figure out which bolt it is, I will put it in my description below. But maybe you get eight and you'll have the proper amount. This all came out of this plastic bag, so uh, I guess they just didn't put enough. So once I put in that first, then I'll put in these brackets, then I'll put in those brackets, then I'll finish off with this and show you what it looks like. It's pretty easy though, folks, gotta tell you. So good old 10 millimeter here on the side bracket. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, just good hand tightening. Tightening. And I did find if you do pull it out of it, you're gonna have an easier time. I think just with those two brackets, everything else should be able to be done in place. And there we go, that's tight enough. So I'll tighten down those four and then I'll move on to these brackets. Okay, all four are in and maybe word to the wise. Let's see if we can get down here. On this side, we're going to be using that outer bolt, the inner hole and that other hole that's tucked underneath right there. You might wanna tape it or plug it. You can see the bottom of the vehicle at the right angle. Those are holes in the tub of the vehicle that go right through. So you're gonna be bolting to one of them, the other two tape over. Same thing goes with here. Now my, I can get my hands under there, but before you put your drawer in, word to the wise, you're gonna be using this one here. It's inside the car, not a problem. Those ones, put your existing bolts back in or cap or tape over those holes, duct tape, uh, seal it. So it is open to the outside. I'm not doing deep river crossings, but if you are, you might wanna do that on both sides. Okay, another slight dilemma I ran into is that piece goes down first, then this goes on top. But if you look, this is this is where my hole is and this is where this hole is. They are not lining up, so I am drilling these two holes here in order to lower this. So my question is, when they designed this, did they have a Land Cruiser with no carpet but I can't imagine, why would you have no carpet? I took my, you know, um, the mat off, of course, there's no mat there, but this is obviously sitting a little higher or their bracket is wrong. So maybe in their R&D, this should have the adjuster to go up and down uh, as well as that. So what I'm gonna do, quite simply, because th this can be adjusted to shift the drawer left and right. 
The problem is I need to shift up and down and I have fixed holes. So I'm gonna drill a hole here and a hole above here. I could make it a oval, but I'm just gonna drill the hole, drill the hole to get this lower again to sit in place. I think the best solution they could have done is this bolt here, make it where it can go up and down. And I didn't shift this upside down because this little oval opening is way too narrow for this bolt. And this bolt is supposed to fit in here. This is the way it's supposed to go. I actually did find their instructions. I will post the PDF in my um, description below, but this video will help save you these type of things that you run into, kind of the unforeseen. So again, let's just go drill it. I'll go to show you how I do that. Okay, so I've got my drill bits here for metal. I'm putting the very smallest one, so I'm gonna make a pilot hole there, and then I'm gonna go to one size bigger and one size bigger. That's how I'm gonna do this, just to make it nice and easy. Um, so I'll start small. Can't hold the camera and drill at the same time, so let me pause. Okay, there's my two pilot holes. So as you get it, I'm gonna drill one size bigger, one size bigger until I get to that size. I just find that's the easiest way. And of course, in the theme of Land Cruiser, of course my workbench is two 80 series wheels stacked up with a piece of board that I'm redoing in my garage new storage system I'm putting in. All right, so yeah, they could have made these ovals or that other piece, like I said, to make that type of adjustment because they're basically saying it's gonna be perfect and it doesn't line up perfect. I do have my under carpeting. That's a quieter, a softener, stuff's not gonna rattle. I don't know what they did in South Africa. The Land Cruiser, the bolts are the same. So maybe they didn't have a carpet there. I don't know. But anyhow, easy fix quick and easy. All right, let me finish the rest of those pilot holes on my 80 series wheel workbench. Okay, so apart from having a little mess to clean up, there's my extra holes I just made. So this should work. Oh, this puppy right here. This is going up for sale soon. And no, not that puppy underneath. This puppy, the red pearl, 111,000 mile 1994 80 series it drives like new it's phenomenal oh okay just a teaser i mean it's a little messy inside but action tracks if you're ever interested in those let me know i got them in all colors but this thing the dash everything oh it smells good in here too i don't know what it is this that upholstery has such a good smell Smells like the 90s. Okay, so I've already did it on that side, so I readjusted. And again, I'm going to have to go to the store to buy some of these, uh, two more of these, because I'm using some of my own bolts to connect this bottom piece. Actually, slightly thicker bolts than what they were providing. Okay, let's install that, and I think we'll be almost done. Wow. Wow. And there she is. What a thing of beauty. You know, now I need to shampoo these. I'll take these two things off and give them a good shampooing because this is just beautiful. Now these, I am pretty darn sure were pre-existing because see how it's sliding that way. I don't think that happened when I slid it in. But if you really want to be careful, you could put something down here so you can slide on, you know, a furniture cover or something just to be sure. But it slid nice, but lift, two of you, you could lift and maybe put something to protect. But like I said, I think that was pre-existing because it slid nice when I put it in by myself. Look how clean that is. So I put the two side pieces on. So there's a little notch in here so you can put your thumb in and lift it up. The drawers, ball bearings, oh wow, slides so nice. You get a separator there so you can separate on each side. And then there's locks for these as well. The keys I put right there. Another separator. Beautiful and quiet. There'll be no jiggling of this, no noises. And looks, let's look at how tight that is in the back. 
So I got one seat sitting back and it's actually tilted backwards. So the connection is so tight and perfect. And let's go see that other side for a sleeping platform. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see it butts right up to it. That's in the furthest back position. So I push that chair back and it rests right on it. And when it's folded forward, it looks like that. So that's the max gap, right? Because you can't have it touching folding forward because otherwise when you put your seat back, it's not going to go back to the furthest position like it is there. Holy cow, that's clean. And of course you can remove seat belts. I'm leaving them in. Once you do one of these, like, so that's the seat, not all the way back. And there it is back. So you don't want your rear, your second row passengers to be sitting with an incline forward, forward pitch, right? And then this closes nice. Let's see the gap there. So perfect. Closes up. And you know, all, almost level. Doesn't come all the quite up the way here. Not that you need those handles anymore. And if you want access to your um, jack, it's right there. So you just pop that up. But how nice is that? So what better than what equipment am I going to put here? Stay tuned. Let's see. I'm going to grab some stuff. I got something I just got shipped today, which prompted me to put in my drawers. Let's see. So these are just a couple of the essentials I put in my drawer system to always have on hand. So this is why I installed it today versus another day. I just got my Iceco fridge and then airing up Thor's Lightning. This is the um, total control. So you set it, you know, you air down. So you air down using the four hose system. So these hoses, it's actually four chucks go to each wheel, goes to this Y and then you air down. And then when you air up, you basically set up here digitally. You want to go to 36 PSI, set it, forget it, go walk around, have a coffee, load up other gear, whatever you want to do. And it fills up your tires literally in minutes, like no joke, four minutes, maybe five, depending if you're running 37s or 40s, 35s, four minutes, you air up, not half an hour, one wheel at a time. So I love it. I will throw that in my drawer for sure. Then medical always have medical if you're overlanding you're out in the middle of nowhere uh, this is the my medic and they have a whole bunch of packs on sale they usually have good sales but on top of the sale if they got a 30 40 50 percent off on top of that especially black friday or holidays or labor day um and they have flash sales from time to time so stay posted stay tuned to my channel i'll let you know but on top of that you can get 15 percent off with my code it's in the description below but always have safety you know you're taking your family out you don't want to be stuck out somewhere and you're like i need a tourniquet or i need burn spray or i need something this has tons of stuff and then the good old tool roll bags these you get like three for killer price and on top of that whatever sales they got going on get an extra 10 percent off with my code and same thing here with the iceco i'll have a code there that you get an additional uh sales price on top of whatever they have I won't need that anymore. That was what was underneath this before I put it in. So let me just open this up, throw it up top so you can see what this ice coat, this is their new APL 55. So can't wait to see what this looks like. I do have the, uh, the 60, so the VL 60 Pro, um, but this one is kind of like their new kid on the block. Let's see it. All right, there is the APL 55. So I still got a monkey around with it. I just got it, just took it out of the box. So as you can see, opens up like this. So it has a uh, fridge and a freezer section. So dual zone. Um, obviously I need to put a slider. I already have one from Iceco because I've got already their VLP 60. So I'm gonna put the slider on so you can slide it out, open it up. I'll do a comparison video of this one compared to the 60 because the 60 opens up this way or that way, kind of ambidextrous. It can go either way. This, I think, opens up there and not in the back. Yeah, so it only has hinges there. That would be the back 
and this is the front. They have this in silver and in black, but I, I like the black. You can see it's kind of like a brushed, brushed like aluminum black, chrome black look, which goes nicely with the drawers. But obviously, I'm gonna take this out. Not, I'm gonna put my slider in and make sure this is strapped down properly. But there you go, this is just some of the stuff. Like, I mean, this stuff won't even take up a third of one of my drawers. I got so much space, so much room, and still room for sleeping platform. So drop that seat down in that center. So that's the side you would do. And because that side is just the seat. So drop those two down, sleeping, got my cold food. What more could you want? You wanna stay hydrated, you're on the trail, right? You get lost, so you have to have food provisions and like a Blue Eddy or EcoFlow with solar panels to keep that running and not drain your battery. Airing up and airing down, always important. You wanna have a tool repair kit, so Thor's Lightning has that also on their site. So whenever it's on sale, get my discount on top of it. And of course, medical supplies. And there's more, I'm just installing this now. So I'll have recovery ropes, I'll have my bug out bag. I'll do videos on stuff that I have uh, when I'm overlanding. Let's go see real quick in my 80 series, which is all covered. And this is what the drawer system looks like in the 80. So I practice what I preach. There's my Thor's Lightning compressor there. So each truck gets it. There's the tire repair kit. Uh, no, there's the tire repair kit. This is a small uh, compressor, mini one, if you're just doing one tire. And here's the other Iceco. Uh, I, this one's pretty awesome. So it's kind of more utilitarian. And I do have a slider on this. So this is, this is what their slider looks like. There we go. So it comes out to that position or further out. And then you open it up like so. Empty right now. This is new too, so can't wait to test this one out. I put this one in here because it's a little smaller compared to the VL60 uh, Pro. So I put this one in instead. And I like the color too. This color is like a, kind of like a khaki or like a greenish. All right, and that's what the uh, drawer system looks like in the 80. I have a whole video of installing their drawers in the 80. So I love it so much that I got one for the 200 and now I'm working with them. So if you're in SoCal or anywhere in the country, call me up, message me, cruisingtheland at gmail.com and I can get you hooked up with your very best drawers that you are going to love. I've been on trails where the roads were brutal. This does not make a peep. It is so quiet. So perfect. All right, that's, this is Otis. I love this 80 series. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. And uh, stay tuned. That's gonna go for sale soon. And believe it or not, so is this 200, optionally with some of the equipment as you see, or not, if you wanna have it removed. Honestly, my 2016, I'm gonna put this truck for sale. If someone wants this, it'll be available. You can get it with this. But uh, if someone buys it and takes that drawer system, guess what? I'm gonna order another one and put it in my 2016 Land Cruiser. Call me crazy. But the 2016 I'm getting is a little bit over double the price of this. And it's funny, right? It's the same engine, it's the same body. Of course, they did a facelift front and back. Same frame. Um, <laughs> is going to have less miles maybe and a different look on the front hood and lights and what have you and it's an eight speed versus a six speed but these are the ultimate this is still an ultimate truck um you know with that roof rack and the drawer system too it's just so clean super clean and i, I need to wash it right now but just look look at that the seats and everything 200 series are just phenomenal. So if you're in the market looking for one, there's just all this cool stuff you can put on it like that and put a whole bunch of stuff on your roof rack or like those rock warriors and Yankee gold. I'd like to put those on my 2016, but if someone wants them, I'll let them know the price if they want the, the uh, KO2s with those rock warriors. 
Otherwise, I do have the original wheels for this truck with the uh, air pressure monitoring system. All right, and there's the fridge, but stay tuned. I'll do a review between this and the 60, and um, I'll put some videos on the four hose system. It's so fast. And lastly, you probably saw I got car covers. This one I've had two years, it's still holding up. I'm probably gonna replace it soon. That's what it looks like when it's new. And this is sitting in California sun 365 days a year, because if you haven't noticed, this will not fit in my garage. They are too tall. Comes in black and gray, 130 bucks. That's a 73 series. This is an FJ40. This is an 80 series. It fits, I don't have one on this right now. It fits the 200 series as well and a 100 series. And the reason why it's so good is because it fits a roof rack. You can see here in the front, it's not going over the bar, right? So if you leave your bar exposed, which I kind of like, because it makes it look like there's a vehicle in your driveway and then it doesn't go over the rear bar either, but it covers that whole roof rack. That's super tall, by the way. I have a couple Rome cases up there. So when it comes down, it just doesn't cover the bumper, it just covers the necessities. I go to Cars and Coffee, I unwrap this, I'm out of the house in two minutes with a nice clean Land Cruiser. All right, that's it. Thanks for letting me bend your ear. Hopefully, um, this helps you install your rugged bound or helps you decide on getting a rugged bound um, top notch the best drawers out there and like i said you can probably save on tax if you're outside of texas where they come from and you can save on shipping if you're in socal because um, you know when we get a bunch of orders all at once we can ship five of these or roof racks all at once so to save you some money just uh, hit me up cruising the land at gmail or message me on this youtube video but there it is. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Happy trails.